Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are going to attempt to use a modified and updated version of my uh, Lunar Explorer to do a survey of Minmus and get a whole bunch more science. So, um, I have unlocked more technologies. We have battery power now, so that's going to help with transmitting data back to Kerbin. Uh, I basically added a little half fuel tank thing, or I guess even like a, a third fuel tank um, here. I'm hoping this middle section is going to burn long enough. I have not tested it yet. I downgraded just three of the boosters. Um, I added our new kind of solar panels, which I actually need to go ahead and set up an action group for. And let's see, thermal mechanic helper. I have no, I wonder if I'm going to need any radiation. Four kilowatts. I wonder how much thermal capacity this ship has. I don't know and so our Delta V should be sufficient as long as I don't screw things up so let's go ahead and set our solar panels on an action group so that's nice and convenient and everything looks correct I'm hoping I suppose we'll see why is that all black I don't remember that being that color but whatever Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing off the ground. I'm a little bit worried about how tall it is. It's not going to be the most stable thing ever. But we'll see. I mean, it takes a decent amount of fuel, to, especially with these size of uh, parts that we have, to get this done. So I just, you know, we got orbital stuff up. And say a little prayer. We got Jebediah on this one. And I didn't have to throw, I had to really thrust with this thing. That's good to know. Probably don't need to worry too much about our speed here, because I I don't know, we're not accelerating that quick, so I'm thinking probably not going to be a super big concern about uh, keeping our, our speed under our terminal velocity, but... Oh, she's tippy. It, okay. It actually seems more stable than it was. I can control it a little better. Just trying to get a slight lean over to the east here to try to get a head start. Looks like we have a nice sunrise coming up. That's nice. Now, I didn't check to make sure we have a good uh, launch window for Minmus in that, like, I guess, you know, it uses less fuel if we're near the uh, ascending or descending node on its orbit since it's inclined but I didn't really check that, so we might end up having to waste a little bit of fuel doing a plane change, but I'll mess around with the uh, stuff when we get up there, and hopefully we won't have to do too much of anything. This middle stage is going to run out of fuel again. That thing just go tears through the fuel, and I don't have fuel lines, so, I mean, obviously I would rather just have all the fuel run into the, the middle there, but that is just not possible, and now we're losing speed. Ugh. I can't really make that any taller and have more fuel in it. I might have to change out that engine. Well, we're picking up speed again. That's probably not such a bad thing. It does suck, though, because we're drawing an awful lot of dead weight up with us right now. Which is not good. It's just hard when you don't have fuel lines to get things functioning correctly here. Unfortunate. Cause there's no way I'm gonna be able to transfer fuel in an even manner even if I I mean I could try but it's gonna go all unbalanced and be screwed up so not gonna even attempt it get our gravity turn going a little better here now that we're up in the upper atmosphere it's not as much of a concern for stability and stuff because we got all that vectoring from the the engines That is really kind of annoying, though. I, I keep trying to figure that out. The only I'm, I'm not doing, like, test runs here or anything, so the only way I really know if it works is by trying it out. It looks like we're on a much, 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 much better approach here to orbit, though. In fact, let's go ahead and cut. I always go, like I said, for 75 just because I'm paranoid about... Uh, you know, having a little bit of wiggle room to make this work better. Alright, boom. 
That's kind of a crazy orbit. Uh, I'm not sure. What do we got there? We got 94 and 65. That's not going to work. 71, 88, whatever. It's good enough. We're not going for perfection here. So we have a minute long burn, which means we got to get over to that maneuver node pretty quick here. This rocket does not turn super fast because we only have a few seconds before we have to start our burn. Oh, overshot a little bit. Come on, swing back. Well, we'll, we'll be able to adjust it when we get the engine going here. So we'll have all the uh, thrust vectoring. Right, on target. We're going to be ditching this stage in a second, which is going to screw up our mathematics a little bit. Actually, going to be ditching a couple stages here. Boom. Boom. And boom. That was really pretty. It's it's not the way that I really want it to work, though. It was pretty, though. So we should, even though this is a much smaller engine, we have a much better thrust-to-weight ratio with it, I believe. So we're probably still in good shape here for our orbit actually happening. I'm hoping, maybe, possibly. Not really, because that time went up a lot, unfortunately. Again, lots of lots of learning going on here. Like I said, I haven't built a little rocket with these little one meter parts in a long time, and things have seemingly changed somewhat, so. But our fuel situation is looking excellent, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. I should bring up my little Delta V monitor here, too. Oh yeah, that should be plenty. I think it only takes around a thousand to do what we we could easily probably actually enter Minmus orbit this time instead of just blasting by in the moon like we did. The the moon mission was kind of bungled a little bit by the launch, so or Mun mission I should say. But it looks like this is going slightly better, and we're gonna be in orbit here in a second. Almost out of the planet. That's always good. It's a little sad when your periapsis is inside the planet, you know. Don't need that. So hopefully we still have around 2,000 meters per second of delta V remaining. It looks like we will a little more. I'm trying to keep on target. Keep on target. Oh, good enough. Okay. So we have achieved orbit rather easily this time. So once I work out the fuel issues with that rocket, we'll be in pretty good shape. Let's get our solar panels out for safety's sake. I didn't put any radiators on this, so I don't know how the waste heat situation. Uh, waste heat, waste heat. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. It's not going to be a long trip. I didn't really consider how much... I have the life support mod installed now. I didn't really consider how much... Uh, we only have a a day worth of food, really. We're going to have to put life support on this ship. That's going to screw up all my Delta V stuff. Darn it, I didn't think of that. That means I'm going to have to go redesign it again and rework a bunch of stuff, unfortunately. Let's get a reading, I guess, while we're at it. No science. Well, I'm going to do a few orbits here, see if I can get some science out of this, and then we'll return home in failure. I forgot about the life support. So I did some calculations while we were up here, um, just because I figured it would be a good idea to figure out what we'd actually be looking at if we got our encounter here. So it looks like we'll have plenty of Delta V. That's not going to be an issue. Uh, the encounter is going to take more than a day to actually achieve. So I'm thinking we need at least five days worth of food, probably, and other supplies for safety's sake, um, just to make sure we actually have enough. But I guess we'll just see this as a learning experience here for our uh, our new mod. I, I actually forgot I had even installed that and hadn't updated this, this vessel. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there's not really any science going on here either, so I guess it's 
pretty much time to just return home. So I'll meet you back at the Space Center. We'll redesign this thing unless something goes terribly wrong during the re-entry. I think we'll be good. So I'll just meet you back there. All right, so the craft has been slightly modified. I have not messed with the fuel because it's working, so I'm not going to mess with it. It's not the most efficient thing ever, but it is working, so I'm going to let it be. I've added some life support. I believe uh, we have 31 hours worth of life support now, so that should not be a problem. I added some small radiators to hopefully help with the power, and I realized that I have another instrument that we haven't messed around with, so I'm going to use that instrument if we can. So let's go ahead and update this, and we'll call this the Survey 2, considering... This is the the second attempt here. We'll we'll be honest and name the vessels based on you know how many attempts we've made. So, fingers crossed. Throttle up. Let's go. And uh, I'll just meet you guys up in orbit because this should be relatively the same launch. It doesn't really weigh anything more. So unless something horrific happens, see you in orbit. All right, so uh, we ended up achieving a little bit higher of an orbit than I had wanted to and wasted some Delta V due to our friend Sticky Keys, which I don't know why Sticky Keys is enabled like that. Like it, it's, it's pretty annoying, but it is what it is. So, okay, so I don't think we're probably in the right position here really to get an encounter based off of this. Um, not close to the ascending note at least we'll, we'll try I'm gonna mess around with some uh, some numbers here and I'll be back when we get an encounter set up actually never mind I won't be back because that was actually really easy um, kind of want to get that I suppose that's fine uh, this is, as long as we actually make it so we have eight minutes until that burn so let's find our marker and and they're saying that that burn is that really gonna be that short that's hard to believe that's very hard to believe but we'll believe it and I guess we'll start out about a minute out we'll see I don't know I don't like it when we get back in range of Kerbal Space Center, I have some science to start beaming back. We have done temperature scans and stuff, and although I get less science for beaming it back, there's going to be a lot of temperature scans we're going to be doing on the way out here, so I might as well spam whatever science I can out of it, I guess. Although I guess that you used to be able to do that to a ridiculous degree, but it doesn't really work like that anymore. I don't like pressing things there. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna slow her down. And let's get spot on our mark. As best we can. Because we kind of have a long encounter here, but let's do it. Burning a little early, but I wanted to err on the side of caution in terms of not missing the burn. We can do a course correction out there if necessary. I'm gonna turn on my find controls here. Yeah, I don't know why I disable sticky keys like seemingly all the time, and it always like you wanna use sticky keys probably. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, nope, never do. I don't know why you ask all the time, Windows. It's it, Windows seems to forget that I hate sticky keys constantly. It's it's really the most annoying feature of Windows in my opinion. I I don't understand. I understand some people might need it for accessibility reasons under all the accessibility stuff, but why it asks you if you need it in the first place it just baffles me you think if you needed a thing like that you would go into the accessibility menu and turn it on and why it doesn't ever remember that I turn it off is even more of a mystery uh, it's kind of a big problem because when you're playing a game with fraps running a lot of times the game kind of crashes if it's minimized like that and it's hard to get back in so that's kind of what happened here um, I it, it, it ended up having to go back to a different you know, previous, the, it, fortunately the game auto-saved like right before that happened, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's just the sort of thing that shouldn't happen. What are we doing for Delta V? Pretty good, we're going to be able to actually enter orbit of Minmus, so I'm pretty sure at least. It shouldn't take too much. All the requirements are fairly tiny out there. 
Let's try to finish this up as best we can here, I guess. And boom, good enough. So what do we got? What is our final result here? Get rid of that. And this will probably glitch out a little bit because things like to do that in this game. But we're going to be coming up on the Kerbal Space Center here. So I'm just going to warp until we are actually in contact with it here. Looks like we should probably have an angle on it now. Let's go ahead and... Is that still set up correctly here? Let's go, where is everything? It's dark, unfortunately. Seems like it's always dark. Um, let's just bust that thing out. And the antenna, you know, it's saved just because I've, I'm paranoid about things bugging out. Now, where's the antenna? There it is. So is that still set up to an action group? It is, good. So let's target the mission control. And where is my little sensor? Let's go ahead and review the data and we will beam that back. See if we can log another temperature. Temperature. Uh, can we only do that once? I wonder. Hmm. I don't know. But we'll shut down the old antenna for now, since we have nothing to seemingly broadcast. Might as well bust this thing open. Oh, actually, that's not worth very much if we don't return it. But I am going to beam it back anyway, because we're going to be getting. Eh, no, actually. We'll be getting more science from Minmus. I'll have to do this again. I need a lab, but I don't have ships capable, really, of dealing with any of that stuff yet. Well, let's see if we got anything from here. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, really, at this point, the only thing to do is warp our way out. Electricity depleted. Well, come on, son. That's going to be a problem. We don't have that much running. What is running that is depleting? I, mean, I guess it must be mech jeb. I should probably shut down these mech jeb windows. Come on. We need that sun. Because this guy's going to die. There we go. It's like this guy's going to die if we don't get the, the sun going there. Because I do have the life support mod on now. So it's kind of important. And where did my temperature... I always lose the temperature sensor. I just want to see if it'll let me log another temperature. It's telling me the temperature. I don't I don't know what the deal with that is. That better not be a once, once in a while experiment. Because that's going to be annoying. Oh, let's get on our little way out there. It's a long trip. But we got snacks. We got water. It's all good. So once we get over to switch over to the sphere of influence, I'll do a little bit of plotting and try to figure out what sort of an orbit we can get. I'm always worried about time warping too fast, but this is taking a long time here, man. Alrighty. Slow her down and hopefully we'll see Minmus when we I'm gonna exit out of this just to try to get a look at it. Since we're gonna be in its sphere of influence, I'm gonna try to do some science too. And we'll plot something here. Let's see. How much slowing does this require? Oh. Actually, that might not be bad because I, I don't know what counts as low orbit around here. So we'll actually let that be because um, we'll be able to get some high orbital science done maybe and some low orbital science. Like get kind of kill two birds with one stone here. And now that we're in a new sphere of influence, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get our. I left the antenna out. Well, it didn't matter. Beam it back. Let's get a crew report. We shall beam that back as well. And might as well do the materials bay right here since we're here. We will keep that data. Do some of this. We will also keep that data. And I apparently can never use that again. That's annoying if that's a one time thing. Apparently that is not a repeatable experiment either. So we can do an EVA real quick like. So this ought to help things out quite a bit. I'm going to transmit this back just in case we never get home. It certainly is possible. So 
All right, so what are we looking at here? Where is... Oh, there's Minmus. Neat. I need a picture of that. That might be the thumbnail. Well, maybe when we get closer. So, how are we doing with everything? Resources are all looking good. We are... My maneuver node seems to have disappeared for some reason. That's irritating, but... It's not too bad to recreate. I'm trying to do it slow so I can actually control it a little bit. Like I said, we'll try to dip down close to Minmus. Under... I don't know what counts as low orbit there. 20,000 is pretty low. We'll try for like... There's peaks almost that tall. We're going to do a real close approach here if I pull this off. Of course, we're going to have to probably alter it a little bit because I'm sure I will have gotten it slightly wrong, but... And I'm just trying to get as much science here early on as I can to make sure that we get some of this back. Because, you know, we'll we'll be back when manned missions and unmanned missions. Where the hell is my maneuver node? There it is. It's going to piss me off. So 230, how much do we have left in the tank before we do this, before we commit to this? Ooh. Well, we'll probably have enough to get back. Famous last words. Jebediah has come back from the dead once already, so... Fortunately, I don't really have a way of knowing how much exactly it's going to take to escape. It's not much to escape from uh, min Miss's orbit, but I'm more concerned about the return. But, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. Did I do a report from here, too? Alright, so this is high space over min Miss. So we could just try to do a return and not enter orbit. That might be the safer thing to do, just because I'm not actually going to gain too much more by going into orbit. I guess I can do more scans of the planet and stuff, but it seems like most of my instruments are being stupid and won't let me use them more than once, too. Is that really only a 21 second burn? That's surprising. That is very surprising. Now, I probably didn't even need to worry about waste heat on this uh, ship because we're just going back to carbon with it and I doubt it would build up quickly enough to really matter but you never do know let's see are we closer now we're still high over Minmus wonder if I would be better served just to adjust and do a, a close approach I don't know if that I have the fuel to do that now because I got so close we're, we'll commit to it I'm worried, but we'll commit. Oh god, I overshot. Dang it. It's time warp. I probably don't have enough now to do this. This is going to be a crazy orbit, probably. Why, time warp? Why? I really want my warp helper. Like that is going to be, even if I don't use the full mech jeb for a long time because you have to unlock it all, um, that is going to be a godsend when we get to the warp helper because warp and me just do not get along. How bad is that? It, end, it ended up not being too terrible, so it's cool. So now we're actually in orbit. We have no communications with Kerbin right now, though, do we? Sure don't hard to tell where the space center even is actually on the planet. I think it's turned as far away as it can be pretty much so I suppose we'll be saving this data for a little bit. I guess I can figure out I'm gonna do the crew report right now do an EVA. Really? That doesn't count as being in orbit? I'm not just in space I'm in orbit. You got nothing else to say about it? I guess you got nothing else to say about it. That's how you want to be. That's how you're gonna be I guess. This probably hasn't got anything new either. Nope. So let's actually just take a look here and figure out if we're screwed or not. Now this would be obviously be the most efficient place to burn more or less, I think, back to Kerbin. I, I, maybe more like here. And what sort of orbit do we end up in? Really? Uh, gee, that's not that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. 
So we gotta figure out exactly where we want to eject from. Probably more like... Nope, nope. Grab the wrong thing. Over here, possibly. I don't know. Well, we'll work it out. I'm gonna fiddle with this and see what the best way to do this is. I'll be back. Well, I have no idea. The maneuver nodes are being stupid right now. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get our science done first. Maybe beam some of this back if we can at some point, too. Because God only knows if we're coming back. Now, I'm going to try again when we get under 50,000 here. Because I know we're still high above, so... We're, well, we'll try under 100,000 and see how that goes first. Oh, this is... scary. What is our, our minimal... Right, altitude here again, 7,000. Now hopefully there's not a mountain that tall on here. I don't think there is, but I don't want to find out the hard way. Let's do another report. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So we'll just keep checking and figure out where the, the low point in this is actually considered. Let's try again at 40. That is still considered high over min miss, so we'll go down to 25, I guess. Try that out. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't have communications, though, do I? Nope, no comms still. Darn it. We're going to get some juicy science and not be able to beam it back. Why did I just retract that panel? I don't want to retract that panel. I'm clicking on the wrong stuff. I can't see anything again. It's always freaking dark like I said so we will keep that let's re-extend that panel just in case we do need it I'm sure I have more power than I actually need but no sense in uh, taking chances here so review our report what does it say crew report law in space we'll keep that EVA and we can beam that back when we get back into comms range So, I guess we'll just uh, do another orbit here, hopefully get back into comms range, I'll beam this back, and then I'll start working on plotting our return. How much food do we have left? I brought a lot of snacks. Yeah, yeah we're, we have more than enough. Those little containers have a lot in them for one guy. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back when I get this beamed back. Oh, that is, that is a little close for comfort there, isn't it? Well, let's, it looks like we're well above it still, but not that well above it. Alright, so I'm beaming back what I can beam back for science, and then on the next orbit around, we'll figure out how to return here. So, hopefully this will all go well. Alright, I've plotted what I believe is a pretty good return here. Uh, it should get us into the atmosphere, and it only uses about 242 delta V. Um, I was wrong, I didn't mean to say that the periapsis apoapsis is where we want to burn. So I'm burning right before the apoapsis, and this should return us safely to the Earth, or Kerbin in this case, but we'll see how this goes, and uh, I'm going to get time warp out there, and I am definitely going to be careful with my time warping this time. Many a Kerbin and Kerbal has probably died due to mismanaged time warping. I would not be surprised. Moving out here takes forever. It's very, very, very slow. S slow going. And I need a little more time warp than that. So when we get down to an hour, I'll slow down the time warp. Take this in pieces here. I'm not a patient person when it comes to this stuff, so. And slower down. And I'm going to need to turn the ship to wherever it needs to go here in a minute, too. In fact, before we do the any more time warping, just to make sure, we don't know how long it's going to take to find this, let's get set on our course. Should be over here. Is that it? That is it. Just for safety's sake. Get okay, more or less on it. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. I just want to get in the ballpark. So according to that, we should start burning in about 10 seconds, if that's correct. And I pray it is. Poor little Jebediah. 
I should like start not using Jebediah, but he's always the first one on the roster. I wish it kind of rotated the roster through automatically. I know it's not a big deal, but it does kind of bug me to always have the same guys on this, on missions. Uh, it won't matter once we start getting space stations and stuff, of course, because they'll be assigned to stations for long periods of time and all that. But again, like in that case, like I don't want them rotated back to Kerbin just to get on the next ship too. So it'd be kind of nice if there was a crew rotation system. There probably will be eventually, like with experience. I think they said they're going to implement experience and stuff like that eventually for crew members. So I would imagine that would probably be part of that. All right, let's slow it down, be patient, not screw this up. <sighs> so 10 seconds, and we go. And I usually move both of my hands over to the keyboard when I'm doing this. It's kind of awkward. Just so I have a little bit of control over several different things at once here on the throttle and maneuvering. target here and I'm gonna burn those extra point three just cuz well maybe I'm not so how did we do a little lower than I would have necessarily liked actually that might not be true let's check that is a little lower than I would have liked that's kind of a steep approach so we're gonna have to make a couple of changes here but we're gonna wait until we get out of min Miss's little sphere of influence here Go ahead and get that done. Because sometimes the orbits like to change a little bit anyway once you switch spheres of influence. That one did not, though. So we need to burn. Which way do we need to burn? Let's figure this out real quick. In order to increase that, I think we probably need to slow down a little. I'm going to put it out here so I have a little time to muck around with it. I think we need to burn like normal or ant. No, that's not going to do it. Uh, that's not doing anything. Come on, something here's got to do something. Okay, that is doing something, but it's increasing it by insane amounts. Perhaps I shouldn't screw with this too much. I think what we'll do is not even worry about a maneuver node. Just try to turn the ship and hit the thrust just ever so slightly forward because it's saying forward, so. I'm assuming that that will work out. And we'll just watch this while we do it. Oh, yeah, that will work out. Uh, let's go for 30 exactly, more or less. That will do. All right, I think we're going to make it home. My goodness. Let's go ahead and do the time warp. Isn't that pretty? I just love watching the Mun do its little, its thing. Whoa, okay, getting kind of close now. Uh, what? Oh, that's 60, okay. It's like, that thing does not seem correct, but I think it is. Yeah, it is. All right, here we go. So, let's double check our approach here. 30,000. Excellent. Everything stayed non-crazy. Close up our resources, because we clearly don't need that. Kerbin's surface is jiggling for some reason. I don't know what the heck the deal with that is, but it sure is. And I guess we can be ready to eject this thing. I'm going to hold on to it until we actually get into the atmosphere, I think, just because I want to make sure it actually burns up. If it drifts too far away from the spacecraft, it probably won't, so. Okay, here we go. Re-entry time. And I think I'll hold on to it to about 50,000 or so. I do enjoy these crazy re-entries. Now, we're coming in at about the same speed as from the MUN. 
So we made it back from the mud. I assume we'll probably be all right here. So let's get ready to ditch this thing downwards. And sayonara. You served us well, service module. Oh, there goes the reheating. We might get to see some of that thing burning up. I guess we got rid of it just about in the right time. Now, I do I do think I got rid of anything on the outside of this that burned up before. Did that already skip back out of the atmosphere? Or did it just... I don't know. Maybe it did. Nope. <laughs> it's losing stuff. It just lost its effects for some reason. Well, that's going to be noisy. It's kind of exciting, though. That is fairly exciting. I love it. De Deadly Reentry is awesome. I wonder if any of that thing's gonna survive. Some of it might. No, maybe not. Are we going to survive is the question. Losing, losing temperature. We're good. She's cooling off. Well, we've got this routine down. Now we have to get some more... I need to really focus on the, the larger parts so I can get bigger ships up. Maybe we can get a lander together. And uh, I do need a communications relay system too. I don't have any rover parts, unfortunately, but maybe we can make a little probe to land in various places. That might not be a terrible idea either. This is a lot of new mods that I'm messing around with and stuff. Like I never messed around with Deadly Reentry before, so it's it's been a lot of learning, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I think this game is really good in its vanilla form, but the mods make a huge difference. They really do improve the game a lot. It's ridiculous how amazing this game becomes when you get the right mods, and it's it, it's just got such a great mod community too. You got pretty much anything you could want. The Kerbal forums are awesome place too, I must say. So can you get any crew reports out of you now? Nah. We're just in the upper atmosphere still. I wonder what biome we're flying over. Uh, I was like, where is Kerbin? It's been stolen. Oh, we're almost going to land in these mountains, maybe. I don't know that I have a lot of mountain biome stuff done. I think we're going to be just short of them, though. I don't know if that is technically mountains still there or what. I guess we'll find out when we land. It's too bad it's dark again. Doing a lot of stuff in the dark. Yeah, those mountains are kind of scary looking from out here. So I'm going to wait to pull the chute until we reach probably like 200 meters per second. Just because I want to get as much down range as we can. The closer we are to those mountains, the better chance we have of reaching the biome. I don't think we're going to do it now. We're not going to do it though. That's too bad. It would have been nice to get some of Kerbin scouted out a little bit here too. Oh well. Well, let's call that good. Get rid of that. And 300 is actually good enough. Let's pull the chute. We're not going to make it all the way out there, so. No sense risking all this science. That was a strange lighting effect that just happened there. I like staging my parachutes because it really decreases the chance of everything going crazy and ripping off. And I always like having that heat shield too because it gives you a really good indication of what, you know, how high above the ground you, are, you still are, even if you can't see. Like, I can't see the ground right now pretty much at all. Kind of tell it's there. Looks like we're landing in highlands or something. What does it say it is? Grasslands. But, uh, yeah, you, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes. So that thing, we'll, we'll know when it impacts, we're about that far above the ground, which is nice. So it looks like we're, you know, about 1,300 meters, and yeah, it looks like it was about right. Alrighty. Nice, gentle touch down here again. Let's go ahead and time accelerate just a hair. Oh, we landed in trees. How exciting. I'm always tempted. I just put Jebediah out on the side of this thing while we're coming down. I'm not going to do it, though. I don't want him to fall and die. He probably would be fine, but I think the capsule would probably tilt forward too, and I don't—I really don't want to risk the labs and stuff because 
we need that science. We need it badly. I think I'd beam back more than a hundred just from various instruments, and then this has a good amount on it as well. Look, so we can we got some more here. Uh, sure. Have I never been to the grasslands before or something? I guess not. I can't transmit that back, unfortunately. We'll have plenty of time to do uh, uh, surface sample. I guess I must have because that doesn't count for much, but whatever. We'll have plenty of time to gather data here from Kerbin. It's not like it's worth that much for the amount of stuff we need, the amount of science we need these days. It's not worth that much anyway. So let's go ahead, recover him. So he carried almost 10, and the ship has 201, so we got a total of 434 now. Should be able to get some good done with that. Let's take a look at what we can get done with that. So, well, how much do things up here cost? These things cost 300. Now, we could just spend all of our money... And do stuff like that. And I think some of that stuff would give us mech jeb stuff, but I don't really care. The only thing I really care about in there that would be nice is the better antennas, because it would make building probes and stuff a lot easier. Uh, landing gear, I you know, we'll wait until we actually have more plane parts to worry too much about that. Uh, the lander can would be nice. I think that's under one of these. It might be the next level up. Uh, the better probe body, I do want that, so let's go ahead and buy that. That gives us some more winglets and whatnot, too. And what do we got here? We got intakes, wings, various engines. So I'm not really going to focus on aircraft quite yet. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, some cathane stuff. Are we starting to get up to 2 meter? Yeah, we're getting up to 2.5 meter stuff here. That might be something to unlock. Yeah, there's... I don't know if we have any engines that support that, but... And RCS is going to be important, so I, I definitely do want to go with this stuff. I'm just trying to check out what is actually here. Yeah, it's just a bunch of RCS stuff. We want that. Because if we're going to ever dock, we're going to need that. Shuttle engines, eh? Ooh, the Poodle engine. I love the Poodle engine. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of large rockets that are available, and that pretty much does it for that. So what do we got in the next little wave here? We got bigger fuel tanks, more shuttle stuff, the Skipper engine. Okay, that's going to probably be my next target. It's a lot of science, though. All right, well, I'm going to probably design some uh, probes and such to get some more stuff done. Um, mainly, I think we need to do the communications network first. Ooh, docking. We can start working on a space station once we get to this point, too. But uh, I, th I think I need to worry about getting that set up. So uh, I'll be back next time. We'll work on getting a, a little mini communications network set up. Thanks for watching.